Uh. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial on this look right here. And before I say anything else, please leave questions in the comments below because I am going to be doing a Q&A. I've gotten some requests to do that, so leave any questions you have for me down there. Um... Other than that, I really have nothing else to say. It's literally a snow snowstorm out right now. Like, like I just, I'll like see if I can show you. Let me see. Also, leave any video requests you have as well. Um, I always like have this weird part where I don't know how to start the video. Okay, so I'm going to begin by taping my eyes because I just like the way it makes my eyeshadow look and it makes everything super easy. And then I'm going to begin by blending a warm, like, light brown into my crease. And I always do this just as a transition shade. And I will list all the products in the description bar. And then moving on, I also added kind of a mauve mid-toned matte shade into the crease as well just to kind of warm it up and bring some of the rosy tones in. And again, I'm just blending this into the crease. And then I'm going to add a matte cream shade onto my lid just to brighten up the look and make my eyelids stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going in with this shimmery warm tone brown with some like red undertones and I'm just adding that to the outer corner. And then I'm just taking my blending brush and making sure everything is well blended. And then I'm adding a deeper warm brown again into the outer corner just to deepen up the look even more. And then I'm adding this like pink shimmer on top and it's actually like an eyeshadow but it comes off more as like just a shimmery, I don't even know, it's like pink glitters almost, but, like not chunky, I don't know, I'm really bad at describing things but you can't really see it on camera unfortunately but it's like the perfect shade for Valentine's Day, it just gives you like that little sparkle of pink so you can kind of see here but still not very good so I'm sorry about that. And then I'm just highlighting with a shimmery shade underneath my brow bone and in my inner corners. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. And as you can see, sometimes when you take off the tape, when you do that, like your face makeup first, it can take some of it off. So I'm just blending everything with a beauty blender. And I didn't do it this time, but sometimes I'll need to go back with a little bit of concealer. And then I'll just go ahead and add a powder on top. Moving on to my lower lash line, I'm going to add a dark brown, the same one I used in my outer corner, and just connect everything and add it underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the mauve color that I used in my crease and just using that to blend out my lower lash line and everything because I don't like it when the line is super harsh. And then I'm just going in and contouring my face a little bit and bronzing it up. I have a whole contouring video, so if you're interested in having a more detailed tutorial, I will link that in the description as well. And then I'm also making sure to blend that on my neck and I'm doing my nose a little bit. And then moving on to blush, I'm just adding a mauve. It's actually like a mauve, like a, I've said that word a lot in this video, but it is. Um, it's not coming off that way on camera though. And then I'm just highlighting. And then of course I'm out of frame for this part, but I'm just lining my lips with a more brown lip color, which I tend to gravitate towards. But then I'm adding a little bit of pink on top of that. And then I'm just cleaning up any edges and I'm also going to finish it with a gloss. And that is the finished makeup look, so I hope you enjoyed. Okay guys, so that was my finished look. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so awkward today. Alright, thank you so much for watching.